Well, firstly, I just want to say thank you for giving me this opportunity. I feel this is a wonderful opportunity to have me and get some exposure, firstly, um, in this textile industry and how this business runs. It is actually a very um, uncertain situation. I didn't actually expect this situation uh, as my uh, opening branch, but I actually find this a very a new challenge actually to uh, to be directly, you know, the first step is to directly talk to a very well established leaders and people with a very bright uh, technical aspects and all. So it is quite challenging, but I also take it as a very good opportunity as well. Uh, yeah, actually start a startups manufacturing process actually. Initially we started with the rural area production because we were awaiting for uh, government approval because it's in the urban. Most of the corporate business functions are in the urban community. We didn't have uh, access at the front, but the rural production has begun up, upon strictly following the government norms. And from Monday, we have actually started the urban production as well. So gradually we have both the productions running as we're planning. Uh, the in, okay, I would, first I wouldn't call it as a crisis, I would call it as a challenge. Because uh, if, we, if, if we take everything as a crisis, then it is very problematic if it comes to a business vision. So if you take it as a challenge, then we just look at it as an opportunity. In terms of impact, I would say we have a, a very noticeable amount of impact, especially on the domestic market, uh, given that uh, a majority of the customers rely inside India. So our domestic market requires hands-on uh, manual assistance, communication, uh, and like vast amount of support from labors. And because of this COVID-19 and for safety concerns, the labors have written back to the native places. So we're running short of the labor assistance. So we do see a little bit of impact on the domestic market. But if you see in the international market, I think it is, uh, we don't see it as an impact. We are, our processing is producing as a plan. We have pre-existing orders, which we are fundamentally working on, and we are working to ensure to perfection as well. So impact just on the domestic market, I would say. Well, I think uh, SCART has always been very proactive in terms of engaging with customers or even in production line, if you have to say. Uh, as far as uh, I uh, see how the SCART has been functioning, from a, a outside perspective that I'm not functioning daily in an everyday activities, right? So I would say that SCAR has been very proactive. Uh, it has taken initial steps even before this lockdown has, has been implemented in this um, country. It has a web webinar, so you can directly communicate with your customers. You can engage them from across the world. Uh, and also we have our employees in the foreign sites as well, where we have our implemented our products and in their locations. So if there's any emergencies, we will, our, our employees are directly close to you. So Scott's initial uh, motive is to keep your customers very close to you and also update them in, uh, if you have any products introducing into the market or if you have decided to innovate your existing products, any radical innovation that you seem to implement, we directly notify our customers then and there, because customers is our first priority, right? Yeah. What I personally see uh, between the industrial function is that most industries, they do not, you know, they fail to see what's coming in the future. They are, I mean, they are very responsive, they are quick upon any decisions that are taken at the present, but sometimes they fail to see what comes in the future. So I think it is very essential for a business to have a very wide futuristic vision. Uh, with this COVID-19 itself, uh, some say that there is a second wave that we might expect in December, or we might not get it at all. So for a business, I think it is crucial to consider that we might get a second wave and act accordingly and to be well prepared in terms of financial um, and labor morality, in terms of stocking your uh, production line. I think it is essential for a business, a manufacturing business like SCART, to have a safety stock in hand because we, we never know when this lockdown is going to ease or when it's going to tighten up more. 
So to have a safety stop is something you need to be, it needs to be a fundamental motive. As you know, SCART's, all of SCART's products runs on server motors. So server motors are typically known for cost uh, energy efficiency, basically. So that is the primary function of server motor implementation. So SCART has been, as I said, SCART has been very proactive in judging what needs to be uh, implemented in the future and what might be the demand as well. So server motors are a primary function. And uh, we also have industrial computers where uh, SCART enables the customers to directly engage with the, uh, with the computers and the programs and to have a very hassle-free running of our products. And again, as I said, to be non-dependent upon the labor assistance. So, and also we are uh, looking up for more uh, innovation. We are looking up for more autonomous production as well. SCART is very, uh, as I said, proactive, and it's very quick to judge the opening opportunities, the market demand. Uh, so by 2021 or whatever the period of time it is, whatever the demand that we seem to, you know, uh, we see that it is rising in the economy, I think we'd be quick enough to grasp it and to venture into each of these opening holes. Um, yeah, for example, if you have to say with this COVID-19, which was an uh, uncertain situation, uh, SCART actually has its medical divisions as well. But given the rise of this uh, market demand, SCART has been involved in uh, production of ventilators, which is a great demand at this point. Uh, it is under production and consideration, which will soon be released into the market. Uh, and has also been for, uh, under production for sanitizers, face masks, um, antifungal clothing, antibacterial clothing, supporting machines. So there are a lot of opportunities that SCART has been um, considering at this point, and we'll be quick enough to introduce them into the market. I think it's all under the control of us in, as humans in general. So as strictly as we follow the norms, the quicker we are back to the normal lives. But given the condition of this and this rapidly progressing virus situation, I think we would need a minimum of seven months for us to um, tackle the situation wisely and then to see how more strictly we can come back to the normal working life terms. So a minimum of seven months, but I think it depends on us as, a gen as an individual, how strictly we follow the norms and safety concerns of others. Because say textiles in general, textiles are more labor dependent, as I said. That is why we need innovation for more autonomous production. But if we're looking at labor dependent, then labors are humans as well, and we need to look at their workforce, that they strictly follow six feet distancing, uh, good hygiene, you know, so to reduce the number of COVID situation in our local community. So it is, dependent on us, to be honest, and globally as well. All, all industries are functioning globally. As, as stricter they follow, the quicker we're back. <laughs>